Hi, I'm Leonard Norris from Valley Mushrooms in Waterville, Nova Scotia. Mushrooms are a fascinating crop to grow. They have to get all their energy from a properly prepared compost. We use uh, straw, poultry manure, and gypsum in our main compost formula, and it's composted outside for a few weeks. Once the compost is prepared in the, in the pasteurization rooms, it's conveyed into our bagging area where we mix the properly prepared compost with spawn. Mushroom spawn would be a, similar to a, a seed in how you use it, a seed in green plants, but what it is, it's sterilized grain, either millet or rye, that has fragments of mushroom mycelium in it and we treat that, we disperse it through the compost like a seed and then we bag the compost and take it to the growing rooms. It's in the growing rooms for approximately eight weeks. Of that eight weeks, we only harvest mushrooms the last three. Everything else is a preparation stage. First we place it in the room and allow the spawn to grow through the compost for approximately two weeks. During that time it uses up the nutrients and fully colonizes the substrate or the compost Two weeks after we spawn the compost, we cut the bag tops off and we add a, a layer of peat moss and limestone. The peat moss and limestone is uh, to provide a moisture holding capacity and a nutrient poor area that the mushroom can grow up through and provide water for the growing mushrooms. We allow that to grow through for approximately three weeks and then through a number of environmental changes we produce what's called a mushroom pin or small mushroom. Once the mushroom pins form to approximately pencil eraser size, the mushrooms double in size every 18 to 24 hours. Here at the farm we're constantly harvesting every day, uh, pretty much 365 days a year. And if you'd like to try our mushrooms, our white buttons, creminis, or portobellas, just go see my wife, Julia, at the Wolfville Farmer's Market. 